Picture this, the year is 1113, and a new temple is rising from the jungles of Cambodia. This temple, known to us today as Angkor Wat, is not just another ordinary place of worship. It is a living testament to a great civilization's artistry, faith, and power. Angkor Wat's story begins with a visionary king, Suryavarman II. Ascending to the throne at a time of political upheaval, he embarked on a grand project to consolidate his rule. Suryavarman II decided to construct a temple, a monumental structure that would serve as his state temple and eventual mausoleum. This temple, Angkor Wat, was no ordinary feat of architecture. It was a colossal task even by today's standards, requiring thousands of workers and resources from across the kingdom. The temple was to be built in the form of a mountain, a representation of Mount Meru, the home of the gods in Hindu cosmology. The decision to build Angkor Wat was an embodiment of Suryavarman II's religious devotion. He was a devotee of Vishnu, a Hindu deity, which was unusual since previous Khmer kings had been followers of Shiva. Angkor Wat, with its central shrine dedicated to Vishnu, was a bold proclamation of the king's personal faith. But Angkor Wat was more than just a religious monument, it was also a demonstration of royal power. Its vast scale, intricate carvings and complex layout were a testament to the king's resources and the skills of his artisans. It was a statement in stone, telling all who saw it that Surya Varman II was a ruler of immense power and piety. Angkor Wat was not just a temple, but a microcosm of the Khmer Empire, a reflection of the cosmos, and a symbol of a king's divine mandate. It was a marvel of its time, a masterpiece that would endure for centuries to come. Thus, the stage was set for the creation of one of the world's most astonishing structures. Imagine the sheer dedication it took to build a temple of this magnitude. The construction of Angkor Wat was a monumental task that took the combined efforts of thousands of artisans and laborers. This grand temple was built primarily from sandstone, quarried from the holy mountain of Phnom Kulin, situated more than 50 kilometers away. Each stone was painstakingly hewn, transported and intricately carved, a testament to the incredible skill and perseverance of the Khmer people. The architecture of Angkor Wat is a harmonious blend of religious symbolism and practical design. It's a prime example of the classical style of Khmer architecture, known as the Angkor Wat style. The temple complex was designed to represent Mount Meru, the home of the gods in Hindu mythology. The five central towers symbolize the peaks of the mountain, while the surrounding moat represents the ocean. But beyond the symbolism, Angkor Wat is an architectural marvel. The temple is renowned for its intricate bas reliefs and the delicate apsaras or celestial nymphs carved into its walls. Each of these carvings tells a story, from epic battles and royal processions to everyday scenes of life in the Khmer Empire. The artisans behind these masterpieces were not just workers, but storytellers, who brought the stone to life through their craft. The temple was also a microcosm of the Hindu universe. The central sanctuary, representing the sacred Mount Meru, was the realm of the gods. The outer gallery, with its bas-reliefs depicting scenes from Hindu mythology, represented the earthly world. And beyond that, the moat was the cosmic ocean, the boundary between the human and divine realms. Angkor Wat was not just a place of worship, but a testament to the ingenuity of its creators. It stands as an enduring symbol of the Khmer Empire's artistic and architectural prowess, a monumental achievement that continues to captivate and inspire visitors from around the world. But as with all great empires, the sun began to set on Angkor Wat. The Khmer Empire, once a beacon of power and prosperity, began its slow descent into oblivion, and with it, the magnificent Angkor Wat started to meet its inevitable fate. There were several factors that contributed to the decline of this empire. One of the major ones was the religious shift that took place. Angkor Wat, originally a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu, gradually transformed into a Buddhist site. This religious transition reflected the changing beliefs of the Khmer people, but it also led to a certain level of instability and discord within the empire. In addition to this, the Khmer Empire was subjected to numerous invasions. The Chams from the east and the Thais from the west frequently attacked the empire, weakening its military and economic might. These invasions crippled the empire's capacity to maintain and protect the grandeur of Angkor Wat. But perhaps the most significant factor that led to the fall of Angkor Wat was the ecological changes that occurred. The Khmer Empire was known for its complex water management system, which was essential for supporting the large population and agriculture. However, prolonged periods of drought, 
followed by intense monsoons, led to the failure of these water systems. The result was a catastrophic decline in agricultural productivity, causing famine and starvation, which ultimately led to social and political unrest. The combination of these factors, religious shifts, invasions, and ecological changes, created a perfect storm, leading to the decline and eventual abandonment of Angkor Wat. The once bustling and lively temple complex fell silent, the intricate carvings and grand architecture once a testament to the Khmer's artistic prowess and religious devotion became a mere shadow of their former glory. And so, Angkor Wat was left to be reclaimed by the jungle, its grandeur forgotten. The temple complex which once stood as a symbol of a powerful empire, was abandoned and left to the mercy of time and nature. But even in its state of abandonment, Angkor Wat held within it the echoes of a bygone era, waiting to be rediscovered and appreciated once again. Fast forward to the 19th century, and a lost city is about to be rediscovered. Picture this, the year is 1860, and a French naturalist and explorer by the name of Henri Mouho is trekking through the Cambodian jungle. Stumbling upon an intricate stone structure swallowed by the forest, he uncovers what we now know as Angkor Wat. His subsequent publications ignite a global fascination. This lost city, once the heart of the Khmer Empire becomes a symbol of romantic exploration, a testament to human curiosity. The world's attention turns to Angkor Wat, and with it comes a new era of restoration. But this isn't a simple task. The temple complex after centuries of abandonment is entangled with the jungle, and the relentless tropical climate makes preservation a continuous battle. Various organizations step up to the challenge. The École Française d'Extrême-Orient takes the lead in the early 20th century, meticulously documenting and conserving the site. Fast forward to the late 90s, and the World Monuments Fund launches a major restoration project, focusing on the churning of the Sea of Milk Gallery, a masterpiece of the Khmer art. But it's not just about restoring a physical structure, it's about reviving a symbol of Cambodia's rich history, respecting the spiritual significance it holds for the local people, and ensuring this treasure can be appreciated by generations to come. There are challenges of course, balancing tourism with preservation, dealing with looting and illegal antiquities trafficking, contending with the environmental impacts. But the global community is committed to preserving this remarkable site. Through the tireless efforts of archaeologists, historians and conservationists, the splendor of Angkor Wat is gradually restored. Once shrouded in mystery, the lost city regains its place on the world stage, a testament to the resilience and determination of those dedicated to preserving our shared history. Once again, Angkor Wat stood as a symbol of Cambodia's rich history and resilience. Today, Angkor Wat is more than a historical site. It's a living testament to Cambodia's past and present. It's a breathing chronicle, an enduring symbol of the nation's rich tapestry of history and culture. Angkor Wat today stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a title it proudly owned since 1992. This accolade is not just for show, it's a global recognition of the site's outstanding universal value. It's a nod to the cultural, historical, and architectural significance of these ancient temples. This title also brings with it a commitment to preserve and protect this precious piece of history for generations to come. Beyond its historical significance, Angkor Wat has evolved into a major tourist attraction. Every year it beckons millions of tourists from all corners of the globe, eager to witness the grandeur of its intricate carvings, the majesty of its towering spires, and the mystery of its ancient halls. Yet despite the throngs of tourists, Angkor Wat remains at its heart, a place of worship, a sacred space where the divine and the earthly intertwine. To this day the site is revered by the Buddhist community, with monks in saffron robes often seen meditating or chanting ancient sutras amidst the temple's serene grounds. Ongoing efforts to preserve and protect Angkor Wat continue to be a priority. Conservationists, historians and archaeologists work tirelessly to safeguard the integrity of the site, battling against time, weather and human impact. In essence, Angkor Wat today is a vibrant blend of the old and the new, a place where history is alive and kicking, where the past is not just remembered but revered and celebrated. Angkor Wat continues to inspire awe and wonder, a timeless testament to human creativity and spiritual devotion. We've journeyed through centuries of history, but the story of Angkor Wat is far from over. We've seen the dawn of this majestic temple, marveled at its intricate construction and mourned its fall into abandonment. 
We've witnessed its rediscovery and the painstaking efforts to restore it to its former glory. And we've gazed upon Angkor Wat today standing as a testament to the resilience of culture and history. This journey has only scratched the surface. There's so much more to learn about Angkor Wat and countless other historical sites around the globe. Each one holds a unique story waiting to be discovered, understood, and appreciated. So let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts, insights, or any questions you might have. If you've enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. And of course, subscribe for more fascinating content. Until next time, keep exploring.